Are you ever suffering from getting shot by a main battle tank in a public restroom? Of course you are. You just need to meet basic needs and go to a restroom and there is a main battle tank outside equipped with urban warfare kit, stealth outfit and melee combat kit and coming to blow you up. People outside are just try to enjoy and they are not aware of the incoming danger. They only worry about exponentially rising water and running out of toilet paper. Some men's toilets avoid being targeted due to perfectly executed scorched earth strategies. But you cannot be sure you are safe and you cannot trust measures taken by the government. People try to use brute force but it is a fatal mistake. You can solve this problem with science. There is no effective armor lying around in a picnic area. We must prepare our armor. Firstly we can find sheet metal plates and ceramic blocks then make a composite sandwich enveloping ceramic blocks between metal plates. Ceramics provide high compressive strength and metals provide toughness. Add carbon fiber layers to enforce the structure. By giving angle, we can increase effective thickness and chance of projectile ricochet. However that is not enough. Do you see that? WC which means restroom is also the formula of tungsten carbide a hard material used in armor piercing projectiles. Is it a coincidence? Of course not. Enemy tank never hesitates to use armor piercing projectiles. To solve this problem, we will add explosive reactive armor to reduce the penetration by dispersing the impact over a large area. By the way, restrooms are rarely mobile, so our armor does not require low density. Therefore we can add thick ribbed blocks as extra protection. Install a few anti-tank guided missile launchers as offensive components against possible armored threats. Install a few ditches to avoid getting rammed by the tank. Let's test our applications and see how enemy tank fail. 